What's up y'all, it's your girl, Brinkin' Out Loud, and today I'm just going to be doing a flexi rod set. This is an old wash and go that I have detangled and combed out and now it's a little bit dry. And so I'm going to show you guys how I do my flexi rod set. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to start out with the Lot of Body Style Me Texturizing Setting Lotion. We're going to need flexi rods, I use purple and gray. We're going to need two to four butterfly clips just to clip your hair back. Then I use some of the Motion Straight Finish Sealer to seal my ends, a Denman brush of course, and then the ORS Smooth and Hold Pudding. Just a little tip, I like to pour my Lotta Body Setting Lotion into a spray bottle just to make it easier and less messy to put on my hair. So now I'm going to start the process of putting the flexi rods into my hair. As I said, I did start off on an old wash and go that is detangled. My hair is completely dry at this point. So I'm just going to split it into a few sections. Um, first I took half of it and clipped it up. And then the other half I split into two sections and clipped the top half up first. I always like to start in the back. I don't know why. Um, I always make sure to detangle my hair really well when I'm doing these types of protective styles just so that I can make sure that the style comes out nice and smooth and lasts as long as possible because I do have finer hair, a finer hair texture. Um, so it does get frizzy easily. So I start off by spraying each section with water just to get a little moisture back into my hair. Then I'm going to apply a small amount of the Smooth and Hold Pudding. Now you can apply as much as you want, depends on the thickness of your hair and how much moisture your hair may need. Then I spray the Lotta Body Setting Lotion into each section and I comb through with my fingers and then go back through with my Denman brush. And then I go on to applying the Flexi Rods. So to me it doesn't matter which way you apply. I think applying them in different ways kind of gives you more volume and more body. Sometimes it does happen where you may have to take the hair back off the flexi rod and maybe apply a little bit more product or just make sure you rewrap it. So I make sure both ends are tight. Okay, so at this point I have pretty much finished most of my hair, but I just wanted to give you guys a close-up view of the front of kind of how I do the process again. So I spray it with water, apply my ORS Smooth and Hold, make sure I really get those ends. Then I apply the setting lotion and brush it through. I wrap it around the flexi rod, close the end, and then twist it up and close the top. So again, here is the process. I spray with water, apply my smooth and hold pudding. I then apply my setting lotion, comb all the product through, and wrap it around my flexi rod. So I'm just going to repeat this process, obviously, until my hair is completely flexi rotted I guess um, so just some tips and tricks make sure after you take this out or you take your flexi rods out that your hair around the flexi rod is completely dry because if not you will get a lot of frizz if this does happen and you are in a hurry and you have to go somewhere just whip out your blow dryer and kind of blow the curl dry um, so that way your style will be more likely to stay. So again, I'm just repeating the same process, applying my smooth and hold, then applying my setting lotion, coming it through with my Denman brush, and wrapping, wrapping it around my flexi rod. So you really want to make sure all of your rods are tight. If you do feel one coming loose, just take the top of your flexi rod, twist your hair around it, and bend the top of the flexi rod and make sure it is tight. I am going to sleep with these flexi rods overnight. Yes, it is uncomfortable, but to me, it helps my hair last a little bit longer when I sleep in it and let it air dry. So I'm going to put my jumbo bonnet on. I usually use this bonnet when I have um, braids or twists. It's very important that you make sure you get all your flexi rods inside of your bonnet or your scarf. Good night guys! Good morning y'all. So my hair is completely dry and I'm going to get these flexi rods out of my head. So 
I'm just going to start by first of all taking out the back I am going to unwrap the flexi rod for my hair and you kind of just do this all over it's really simple you just twist the rod from out of your hair be careful of those little loose ends because they will get caught in your hair and it always happens to me that it kind of snags a piece of hair or two so just kind of be careful if your flexi rods are older so just make sure that you're kind of delicately unwrapping your hair. Um, I did run into like maybe one or two curls that weren't completely dry, but I just kind of let them air dry. I don't mind my hair having a little bit of frizz. So I just continue this process throughout my whole head, just unwrapping the flexi rod from my hair. Try not to disturb my curls too much. And I just continue this process until I have all the flexi rods out. I used about 14 gray flexi rods and I believe, or 12 gray flexi rods and 4 purple flexi rods. The purple ones I kind of used on the top and in the middle. So now, after you are done with getting all of your flexi rods out, you just want to put a little bit of oil in your hands just to reduce frizz. So I just rub this in my hands, kind of apply it throughout. Then I start from the back and I just begin separating the curls. So you just kind of want to twist the curl around your finger so they can get that oil on them and not get as frizzy. My styles always tend to get frizzy just because of the finer texture of my hair. So I already kind of expect that and I'm totally fine with it. So I just kind of find the curls throughout my head and separate them into either two or three sections depending on how big the section originally was. I don't like to separate it all the way on the first day of me wearing it just because throughout the next couple of days, I usually leave these in for about four or five days. I separate more and more every day and it makes my hair get bigger and better and I just love it. But the first day, I just kind of separate each section into two or three parts. So you'll see me going in, just wrapping it around my finger. And the sections are still kind of big. Minimal frizz. And I just repeat this process throughout. And of course, every natural girl's favorite part of a protective style, such as a roller set or a flexi rod set, fluffing out those curls and getting that volume. Yes, honey. And if you do run into any frizz, just take the curl and kind of twist it around your finger, and that'll really help reduce it. And there you have it, an easy, flawless flexi rod set for beginners. Now keep in mind, everyone's hair texture is different and everyone is going to have their own unique and beautiful end result. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.